Welcome back to chapter 11 of our Let's Go Eevee Nuzlocke adventure. Now in the last episode we got our gym badge from Saffron City's gym leader and now we're going to work our way down and attempt to get the badge from the Fuchsia City gym leader. So let's make our way down through route 13 and battle some of these trainers. Let's get some experience, level up and we'll be in a better shape to take on the gym. So first up, a good old Raticate which we're giving Dwayne a run out and Dwayne with a nice brick break will take him out easy peasy perfect start and then a gold duck who will give us the side beam take a bit of damage but brick break again switch out into whisper who will easily take a psychic type attack and then one of those baddie bads just to finish that one off first one down so next up, we have Bug Trainer, who's going to send out a Scyther, and that'll be a good one to battle. So up goes Makita, who will strike with a Fire Punch. And as he sets up a Razor Wind, that will give us a perfect opportunity to hit another Fire Punch and take him out. Next up, we face a Pinsa, which also will take a Fire Punch. Brick Break to us will do a decent amount of damage, but our second Fire Punch is enough to take him out. Now let's take to the skies against the bird keeper with a Douyuo, which Colin will be able to take. Poison jab, straight down, one hit KO. Up goes a Pidgeotto, another poison jab, which takes about half health. He's going to roost up, so that will heal. Crunch thrust will take him down nearly out. And then after being hit with an air slash, one more crunch will finish off the Pidgeotto. At a power A, eh? you should have bought some Duracells. Right, next up, we face in an Eevee with Colin. Poison Jab again, we'll take out an Eevee one hit. And up against next, a Persian, so Poison Jab again, we'll take him down. Oh, Dwayne went to level 31, which meant he's learnt Crab Hammer. Now that's going to be a great attack for us, so let's give it a try. Up against the Growlithe, which is super effective in attacks, but that was an easy one again Nidorino so let's see how we get on with this another crap hammer straight out brilliant brilliant attack to have okay route 14 now not only the trainers here but we actually get another encounter on this route so let's quickly take out this flareon with our crab hammer from Dwayne and let's see what pops up in the grass first Bellsprout. oh oh a Tauros now let's quickly get through these trainers so we can try and catch this thing. So let's knock aside this bird keeper. Quickly take a shortcut through here. Oh, I've got one more trainer to get through after this one. Please don't despawn, please don't despawn. Oh, one more, come on. Let's knock these ones out. And we get there. Right, let's try and catch this Taurus. So we'll use one of those silver raspberries we picked up. And... That wasn't a great throw, but he stays in the ball. Brilliant. A rowdy Pokemon? Damn. Anyway, let's name him. As he's a bull with a lot of stamina, let's name him after the famous energy drink, Monster. Ooh, and we get a nugget. Fortunes are changing. Let's heal quickly. And now we run into one of the aides, who, for catching over 30 Pokemon, will give us the judge function. So now we can see how good or bad our Pokemon really are. But I'd rather not look. Anyway, let's take on the rest of these trainers. And then once we get to Route 15, we can actually get another encounter as well. So pulls up, taking on this Raticate. And that looks like a two hit KO with our Flamethrower. And that one's down. Next up, we will give Dwayne another run out against another Raticate. Brick Break will take him out, perfect. On to the next trainer, who we're going to face off a Rhyhorn, so Whisper will take him with his bouncy bubble. Straight away, he's down. Next up, we have a Magma. Colin, let's dig. And we know then we've got a super effective hit coming, and that's actually another one hit KO. Well done, Colin. Ooh, a Vaporeon. Don't see those every day. 
Right, Nikita with a Thunder Punch. That takes about half and paralyzes him. So that's really good for us. But our second one doesn't take him out. So we're going to take a Surf Attack here. Which does about half to us. But luckily, a little Brick Break will finish him off. Up next, we'll swap over. Dwayne will come in. Quite a lot from that Drill Peck. So Crab Hammer doesn't quite take him out. So let's switch into Whisper. Who will finish him off after taking another drill peck of his own with a Sisley Slide. And finally, we're up against a Sand Slash, which Whisper should take out with a Bouncy Bubble, and he does. You say you're not good enough, maybe you need to train harder then. Okay, let's cut through here, see if we can see anything as we go through, which nothing different is popping up, so I think We'll just collect this TM for Surf, that's a nice one, and we will head through to Fusion City, heal, and come back and get our encounter, when hopefully we can get something different. Right, let's see what will happen for our Route 15 encounter. Oh, look at that. We found a Venom Moth. Come on, come back over this ledge, and let's try and catch this Venom Moth. Now, fully evolved one, they're not going to be easy to catch. So we'll use another berry, a nice throw with an ultra ball, stay in the ball, and it does. Right, now we need to name this moth after the titan, Mothra. Okay, let's finish off all these trainers before we head on to the gym. So a Dodrio is not what we want to see, so let's quickly switch into Whisper, as that would have been a super effective drill pack that Makita would have taken. That's not worth the risk. We burn him, he's going to use a jump kick, which doesn't do too much because of the burn. Second Sizzly Slide will take him out. And they always look so sad. Okay, next one. Growl it. So, Makita's up. So let's go with a Brick Break. Nearly out. It'll be a two-hit KO for that one. And next, do you have another Growlet? So, easy. Two-hit KO again with Brick Break. And funny enough, a third Growlithe, which, oh wow, he's got Play Rough. That nearly, nearly took us out. That's a very type of move from him. I didn't expect that. Luckily, we're still in the game. So let's play this one safe with good, reliable pull. And he's up against an Arbuck. So a Flamethrower. Good, nice, strong attack. Does just under half. He glares us, which will paralyze us, but hopefully... We can hit through this paralysis and still take him down to nearly out health, but we only burn him and second, use a quick attack to finish him off before he gets another attack on us. Next up we have Primate and I led Bubblegum, which is a terrible idea. So let's swap him out into Colin. Colin takes a brick break, no problem. Poison jab to the Primate. Second one will finish him off. Up next is Muck. We'll use a Dig, Colin. Oh, he's going to use Acid Armor. That will raise his defense massively. Which means our Dig isn't going to do as much. So let's switch out. And now we can go into Bubblegum. Because Bubblegum's got some good special Psychic attacks. And a couple of those should take him out. There you go. Sludge doesn't do too much to Bubblegum. And the second Psybeam will finish him off. And that's that one done. Look at that. More balls on the floor. Oh, look at this. We found a coach trainer. Which, and these are very strong, but they give us good TMs afterwards. So, up goes Dwayne against a Machoke. Crab Hammer takes about half health. We take a Brick Break. And we miss. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, one more. We do hit. Great. And that will take him out. So, let's switch out for the next Pokemon. Whispers up. And Whisper will be up against a Magmar. Now Bouncy Bubble will be good for us. That will take over half. So one more of those and that will be the Magmar down. And we also get to heal up a little bit too. And we take a Fire Punch. We take that relatively well. The second Bouncy Bubble will give us all that health straight back. And for our troubles we actually get the TM for Fire Punch. So back to Fuchsia City for us then. So let's have a quick look around. And over here, 
I believe this guy can teach us one of the special secret techniques. Look at this. This Lapras is getting on an age but still a real beauty. Man, you've got some weird thoughts. But either way, he's going to help us and teach us the sea skim ability. So now we should be able to travel on the water. So let's head back to the Pokemon Center. Let's heal. And let's see what's happening in this gym. So this is the Fuchsia City Gym, Poison Type Leader Koga. So we're alright, we've got our Psychic Types with us. So what's our challenge here? Oh, look at that. He says the Safari Zone is here, which it's really not, but okay. He wants us to have seen 50 kinds of Pokemon, and we have currently 34. Ow. Well, maybe we'll call it here for today. In the next episode, we are going to go on a massive encounter hall, collect as many Pokemon as we can, so we can enter this gym. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.